I um, grew up outside of Chicago in a town called Joliet. I, I don't know what made me get into music except that it was the thing that moved my life. I did not come from a music family. I came from a music-loving family. I wasn't a, a little kid that played instruments. I was in love with the musicians. I loved the voices, the, the sound of a human voice singing to me. I mean, we were only reached emotionally by music. There's nothing else that moves human beings because I always got a charge in the base of my spine from music. I think that probably is why a young woman in the 80s determined for, for herself, for myself, that I would become a recording engineer because it was a really odd thing to choose then. There weren't anybody, and certainly not where I came from. So I had to kind of figure it out, so I had to move to L.A. when I was 19. I worked for four years at Capitol, and I, I, I uh, stalked the studios, but they're a different company, so they, stopped, they told me to stop coming down there because I wasn't an engineer and I wasn't going to get a job in the studio. And so I left L.A. and I moved to New Orleans. I started working at Kingsway Studio in New Orleans. That's Dan Lanois' studio in the French Quarter. I was assisting or engineering at any moment. The auto locator would just get shoved my way. Because then Malcolm, who is the engineer, or Mark, who is the engineer, Mark went to do something or Malcolm's actually playing bass. Okay, you, you punch it in. I have a great love for the Gulf of Mexico and the culture that exists on the Gulf of Mexico. And I'm in the part of the Gulf that's in the state of Alabama. Things sound better too. Things sound really amazing in humid air. They're, they're different than they are in dry air if you play music outside. Brew me, oh, brew me, sweep me away. Like an old piece of trash, the same better days. Well, the Genelec 1031 speakers were everywhere. They were really popular, and I loved them. They were loud, is what they were. And when I got the 8351s, I, I got them set up in the room. I did everything just right, like I was supposed to do them. Did the room pinging and sat there and I was listening. And, and then I started working on a mix that I started another set of speakers and I was going to these. This just sounds like old stupid mix engineers. There's great clarity and beautiful imaging, but there, but there really is. At first I was a little afraid of the, of the EQing but now that I've embraced it, it is an amazing tool. I can modify my, my mixing experience, you know, whatever, whatever the speakers become alive in that room. The 8351s are making the experience I have with my methods and style so enjoyable. I do not heavily modify sounds. I am there to capture the sounds in the room on great microphones. The 8351s make me comfortable. There, there really isn't any value greater than that. I've worked with some famous people. That's when you think, I'm glad I love my speakers. That's when you look at your speakers and think things like, I love you, man. I love you, whoever invented you, that you're here with me, I'm grateful. They're my Shalimar of speakers. I don't say that lightly. <laughs>